Hey everybody, welcome to PackersNews.com. I'm Ryan Wood alongside my colleague Michael Cohn of the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel here at Lambeau Field. Michael, the last open OTA session today, last chance for media to get to see OTAs before mini camp next week and then obviously training camp right around the corner. Uh, one of the things that we do, no matter what time of year, is take inventory of injured players and then obviously try to chat with them about their injuries in the locker room. You're able to catch up with Dimitri Goodson today, and he has some interesting uh, feedback about when he might be back on the field from, from the torn ACL. Yeah, well, the rest of the team was practicing today. Goodson and Corey Lindsley were doing some running drills off behind the field, and Goodson looked pretty good. So I asked him about you know how he was feeling, and he said he's feeling great. He's already sprinting, cutting, and backpedaling with no issue, and he said the medical staff has talked about him returning as early as the middle of training camp, which would add just another name to the cornerback position battle and give the Packers potentially one of their best special teamers back on the field. So if Goodson stays on schedule, it looks like he might have a chance to contribute at some point early in the season if he makes the team. Another guy that dealt with a big injury last year coming back from one, he's now got some more time between him and the actual ACL problem. What's the latest with Jordy Nelson in terms of trying to get back to where he was two or three years ago. Yeah, you're right. You know, D Demetri Goodson's where Jordy Nelson was a year ago, and, and that's not taking part in, in reps and drills at OTAs, but really rehabbing off to the side and, and really in obscurity. And that process is such a long process, especially for ACL. Uh, Jordy Nelson told me today that the, the thing that he did when the season ended was take a step back. So he'd been, at that point, it had been a pretty grueling year to get himself back to the shape that he was going into that NFC title game where he was able to play every game through the season. So he said he took a good month and a half to really did nothing, went into dad mode, he said, and, and gave his body a rest. And then he was able to, to show up at OTAs and has been able to participate in drills for the first time in three years. 2015, after the 2014 season, uh, he, he, he had a hamstring that kept him out. Uh, in 2016, obviously last year, he's rehabbing from the ACL. The last time he was able to go in through a full OTA session and, and the full offseason program here at the Packers was 2014, which just by chance happened to be the best season of his career. So he's back in that mode. He made a, a, a spectacular catch today. There's so few plays that really pop out uh, on an OT, in an OTA session. It was one of them uh, from Aaron Rodgers. So you, you can see Jordy Nelson, that, like Mike McCarthy said today, that history would show that you're better in year two after a major injury than, than year one. That's his mindset right now, his focus, and a big part of that is just getting the rest during the offseason. Uh, we'll see what happens at minicamp. We'll see if the veterans are here for minicamp. I, I would be surprised Mike McCarthy was not ready to say yet today. Uh, and then obviously training camp around the corner. Make sure you stay to PackersNews.com for all your Packers coverage. Until next time, he's Michael. I'm Ryan. Take care.